skin undertone? And if you do, do you understand the difference between your skin undertone and your skin tone? In this video, we are going to be talking about how to find your skin undertone and your skin tone. So stay tuned. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back again to the Style of Success. I am Kelly and in this channel, we are all about beautifying our bodies and our minds so that we can look and feel confident, stylish and successful. So this is the right channel for you if you want to transform your body and your mindset through style. Now, if you haven't subscribed already, please click the subscribe button. You can also press the notification bell so you don't miss an episode. And for those of you who are coming back again, welcome back. Don't forget to smash the like button if you gain any value from this video. So for a long time, I used to struggle with finding like the right shade of foundation and lipstick. And like, I would watch a lot of YouTube channels, especially when I want to get something new in terms of makeup, because I'm always looking for something new that is out there. And I'd look at people who I felt had the same like skin complexion with me. And I would go and buy the products and they would not look in any way like the way I looked. And I wondered like, how come what I saw on camera translated difference when I actually bought the product on hand? Well, that is because your skin tone and your skin undertone, they're different factors at play. Now your skin tone is straightforward. It's the color you see when you look in the mirror. I am black, I'm a dark skinned lady. But when it comes to your skin undertone, that's a different thing because it's actually the underlying hue that your skin casts, especially when it's under light. So it's quite different from your skin tone, but stay with me because I'm going to explain it further. Now, what you will see is that you could have two ladies who are dark skinned, or you could also have two ladies who are light skinned, but then they would have different undertones. So the hue or the color that their skin casts are quite different, even though they're of the same skin tone. Now your skin tone may change with the weather, there may be so many different factors that can affect your skin tone. So I have a good friend and anytime it is the winter, she turns like really light skinned and in the summer she looks like really dark. And for a while I wondered, I was like, how come your skin looks so different? Like, are you bleaching or what is going on? And she was like, no, in the winter, I noticed that my skin gets lighter and it's like the true color of my skin comes out more in the winter than in the summer. I've also noticed for myself that if I'm undergoing stress or I'm tired or I'm overwhelmed, I noticed that my skin actually gets darker. So your skin tone normally changes. Also exposure to sunlight, I mean, you know, a lot of times we feel, especially for those of us who are dark skinned, that we can't get sunburned. But a lot of times we get sunburned and you would notice that we would have like dark lines for myself. I would see like my skin looking really, really, really dark, much darker than my skin complexion actually is. But that is because your skin tone can change with different factors, but your skin undertone stays the same no matter the season. Now, you may wonder to yourself why it's so important to understand your skin tone and your skin undertone. But skin undertones play a vital role, especially when it comes to the area of like knowing what hair color would suit you, what makeup to buy. It also plays a major role in clothing and fashion. It helps you determine what colors actually suit you better, what you look nice in, what makes your skin glow, as opposed to just picking any color because you think it would work for you. Now, when it comes to our skin undertones, there are three types of skin undertones. You have the warm undertones, you have the cool undertones, which is on the other spectrum, and then you have the neutral, which is almost like a mix of both undertones. Now, if you have a warm undertone, you would notice if you go out in the sunlight, your skin casts that yellowish or golden hue. But if you have cool undertones, you will find out that your skin casts a bluish, sometimes a reddish or pinkish hue. So if you are dark skinned, you may notice that your skin casts more of like a reddish hue or sometimes a bluish hue. 
But if you are light skinned and probably Caucasian, you would notice that your skin may cast more of a bluish hue or a pinkish hue. And then if you fall in the neutral category, you notice that it's almost like a mix. You can't quite tell where you fall or more or less anything actually works for your skin undertone. If you're gaining any value from this video, please click the like button and make sure you keep getting engaged because we are going to go into finding out what our skin tone is. Now for this part of the video, we would need natural light. So if you're in a room, open the window. You can also go outside so that you're not using any artificial lights because that's the easiest way for us to see and determine what our skin undertone is. Now for the first test, we're going to need something white. So it could be a white piece of paper, it could be a white shirt or a white blouse, whatever you can find that is pure white. And what you need to do is you need to place, whether it's a white shirt or a white piece of paper, you need to place it on your skin because what we are trying to figure out is the hue that your skin casts when you're out in natural light. And tell me what you can see. Do you see more of a yellowish hue or golden color? Or do you see more of like bluish or a reddish pinkish tinge? Now, if the color you see is more yellow and golden, then it is likely that you have a warm undertone. However, if you notice that the color that gets cast from your skin looks more of like reddish or pinkish or bluish, then you actually fall under a cool undertone. But if you're among the group of people who are like, I can't really tell, then you're most likely going to fall under the neutral undertone. Now, the second test, we are going to require jewelry. So, look for what you can find we need gold and we need silver so whether it's earrings or a wristwatch or bracelets or whatever you can find necklaces we're going to put it on our skin to determine what actually suits us better now put both pieces of jewelry on the opposite side of your skin you can put it on your arm you can put it on your neck whatever type of the jewelry you have and tell me which one makes your skin pop is it the gold jewelry or is it the silver jewelry or are you like i can't really tell both look really nice on me if the gold jewelry makes your skin pop then you have more of a warm undertone but if your skin pops more with the silver jewelry it just gives you a nice distinct look then you're more likely to have a cool undertone but if both work for you the gold and the silver or you can't really tell which one works more, then you're most likely going to fall under the neutral undertone. Now, in the third part, we're going to be looking at our veins. So we want you to look on your wrist or on the inner part of your arm, because what we're trying to do is to see the color of the veins on your skin. If the color of the veins look more greenish, then you're likely to have warm undertones. But if the veins on your skin look more bluish or purplish, then you're likely to have cool undertones. If your skin gives you a mix of like bluish green or you can't really tell where it falls, it's likely you fall under a neutral undertone. So now that you've done these tests, where does your undertone actually fall? Are you more of a warm undertone or are you more of a cool undertone? I found out for myself that I have more of a warm undertone than a cool undertone. Now, what I have discovered is that if you have a cool undertone, then colors like white or black would actually look very flattering on your skin. There are people that when they wear all white or all black, their skin just looks amazing, it glows, it looks really great. But if you fall under the warm undertone, you would notice that colors like brown or ivory or tans tend to pop more on your skin. Anytime I wore like black shoes or silver shoes, the color didn't come out quite right on me. The shoes would actually look lovely, but it almost made me feel like my skin looked older. But I noticed that anytime I wear shoes like 
brown shoes or ivory shoes or any of those pastel colors gray or like pale pink i noticed that my skin looks glowy it looks really nice the shoes actually look great and flattering on me so that was one way that i actually found out that i had more of a warmer undertone than a cooler undertone now if you're like me and you ever used mac cosmetics if you look at the coding of for example the studio fix foundation you would see that you had the nc range and you had the nw range now the c actually stands for cool undertone and the w actually stands for warm undertone so that's actually a way of figuring out where you fall under both spectrums i don't use mac anymore but when i did in the studio fix i fell under the nw45 so that is more of the warm undertone i also discovered that when it comes to jewelry i found for myself that jewelry that is more golden in color suits my skin more and i noticed that rather than just wearing pure silver i always tend to get like a two-tone type of jewelry now if you fall under the neutral category i mean you are lucky what i would say is that even though you fall under the neutral category you might skew closer to the warm or you might skew more to the cooler side of the spectrum so it's important that you test and you try and see what actually makes your skin look nicer and what makes your skin pop now this doesn't mean that when you find yourself either under the warm undertone or the cool undertone that you cannot wear certain types of jewelry but it gives you a good foundation to know what actually makes your skin pop because there are certain days that you're going out and you want to look your best and it's great to have this in your repertoire of knowledge so that you can always pull it out and make the right choices when it comes to styling now this is more of a foundational video because i'm going to be going into more videos and we're going to be looking at hair color we're going to be looking at lipstick makeup and actually clothing that suits different skin tones so if you haven't done this test please do the test let me know in the comments down below if you found any value from this video please smash the like button share with your friends we'd love to have you as part of the family so if you haven't subscribed already do consider subscribing you can also press the notification bell so you don't miss an episode and i will see you in the next video take care